Good evening, all. Everybody can hear me back there? Yep. Thank you for coming. I want to correct one thing that Tatiana said. I'm, I'm not going to talk so much about Rick as I'd like to talk about us. I look across this 15th district, and while it is diverse, I find that there are a lot of similarities. We are common folks. We get up every morning and go to work. We do our best to support our families. We raise our children. We try to instill in them the values that were given to us. And we also do our best to try to spoil our grandchildren. <laughs> Along life's path, and in doing those things, we form opinions. Some people will form prejudices. But we will all form beliefs of some sort in programs or in projects that affect our lives and that of our family. I look at myself, there are issues that I believe in. I believe, first and foremost, in the right to life. I believe in the Second Amendment. I believe in the rights, the privileges, and the responsibility that it bestows. I believe in our veterans, and I believe in the benefits that they have earned. Those benefits should never be diminished, delayed, or denied. We can afford to be police force of the world and the, and the breadbasket, we certainly can afford to care for those who are the defenders of our freedom. I believe in our senior citizens, the contribution that they have made to our country. Yeah. Social Security and Medicare programs that should be defended and expanded, yes. never cut back. Amen. Yeah, amen. I, believe in, I believe in the right of every American to earn a wage that will allow them to care for their family and educate their children. I think we ought to be able to go into the marketplace and buy products that are made in this country by American workers and carrying a union label. We do have the right to boycott those establishments who feature articles made in another country at the expense of American jobs, especially those made in China. I could continue on with my litany, and I'm sure it registers with most people across the 15th. And I know that they can sprinkle in a lot of other things, things that affect them, their families, their lives. But my fear is that too many of them will remain silent. They have lost their faith in their government. They believe that it functions only for a very few that control the most wealth. Since they have lost that faith, they have covered themselves with a cloak of apathy. They have forgotten that America is not synonymous with wealth. It is a beacon of hope. Grover Cleveland once said that no man should be elected or re-elected unless he stands for something. I know Rick Doherty. I know what he stands for. Too many times we lose sight of the things that are most important to us. We need to, in the coming months, go out across this 15th district and let the people know what the man, what this man is, what he stands for. I know he believes in the same things that I believe in that I enumerated earlier. <coughs> People need to know that they have a reason to again hope that if they send this man to Congress, he will 
do his best to restore the confidence in the government. And I guarantee you, down the road, they will look at him and say, with pride, that's our congressman. Ladies and gentlemen, our congressman, Rick Dockery. <laughs>